Okay, part two. So this is the recipe. He unfolded a crumpled piece of paper, smoothed it out and held it up and began to read it as follows. Recipe for making wonk fight. Take a block of the finest chocolate weighing one tonne or 20 sackfuls of broken chocolate, whichever is easier. Place chocolate in a very large cauldron and melt over a red hot furnace. When melted, lower the heat slightly so as to not to burn the chocolate but keep it boiling. Now add the following in precisely the order given, stirring well all the time and allowing each item to dissolve before adding the next. The hoof of a manticore, the trunk and the suitcase of an elephant, the yolks of three eggs from a whiffle bird, a wart from a warthog, the horn of a cow, it must be a loud horn. The front tail of a cockatrice. Six ounces of spruce from a young slime scraper. Two hairs and one rabbit from the head of a hippocampus. Campus, sorry. The beak of a red-breasted wilbatross. A corn from the toe of a unicorn. The four tentacles of quadrupus. The hip and the poe and the pot of a hippopotamus, the snout of a frog hopper, sorry, a prog hopper, a mole from a mole, the hide and the seek of a spotted wangdoodle, the whites of 12 eggs from a tree squeak, the three feet of a snozwanger. If you can't get three feet, one yard will do. The square root of a South American abacus, the fangs of a viper, it must be a windscreen viper. The chest and the drawers of a wild grout. When all the above are thoroughly dissolved, boil for a further 27 days but do not stir. At the end of this time all liquid would have evaporated and there will be left at the bottom of the cauldron only a hard brown lump about the size of a football. Break this open with a hammer and in the very centre of it you will find a small round pill. The pill is Wonkavite.